Hello mga katropa, have a victorious day sa inyong lahat. Welcome to the online teacher vlog channel or the online TV channel. Your learning and educational channel. Please click the subscribe button below and also click the notification bell icon to be more updated in our channel. To all our more than 1,000 subscribers, I just want to say thank you for all your support. Thanks to Arnell, Rose, Mary, Patrick, Ayana, Mama, Tita, Whiteboard, Paga Sa, Benji, Rain Ruffo, Justin, Jabs and Oreo. Our topic to be discussed today is about how to become a reservist in Philippine Air Force and what are the qualifications requirements and benefits. Commissioned in the Reserve Force, AFP and the sources of which are as follows. Commissioned officers under PD-1908 is implemented by CIR-30, GHQ. AFPDTD the 7th of December 1987, subject, Procurement and Appointment of Reserve Officers. Commissioned officers under RA-718 is implemented by CIRNR-19, GHQ. AFPDTD the 9th of November 2000, Appointment of Deserving NCOs in the Grade of 2LT Ensign, PN, in the Reserve Force, AFP. Commissioned officers under PD-190 is implemented by CIR-14, GHQ. AFPDTD the 13th of January 1975, NDCP graduates. Commissioned officers under Project 36 to 70 in AFP affiliated reserve category is implemented by CIR-6, GHQ, AFPDTD the 3rd of June 1995 and as amended by CIR-3, GHQ. AFPDTD the 3rd of March 2004, AFP Affiliated Reserve Units Program. Commissioned officers under Section 44 of RA 7077 as implemented by CIRNR 6, GHQ. AFPDTD the 19th of May 2003, Commissioning of Elected Government Officials and Presidential Appointees. Retired, honorably separated officers of the AFP and other armed forces that have diplomatic relations with the Philippines who were incorporated into the Reserve Force, AFP. Commissioned officers of the defunct Philippine Constabulary who applied for change of branch of service and were incorporated to any of the AFP major services Reserve Force component pursuant to LTR. Dur, GHQ, AFPDTD the 6th of June 95, and Requirements Application for Commission Duly Accomplished Affidavit of Non-Pending Case Duly Notarized Biodata, Curriculum Vitae, SOI Full Body Picture, All Original, White Background, Birth Certificate. Orig NSO Copy, College Diploma and Transcript of Records, Authenticated by School Registrar, Comelec Certificate and Certificate of Canvas, for Elected and Appointment Officials. Professionals with PRC License, Board and Bar Passer, Mensay Diploma, Transcript of Records, for MNSA graduates, Advance ROTC Certificate, POTC Certificate and Declaration of Graduation and Order of Merit, for POTC graduates, Physical Examination Report, Results of Drug Test, New Aero Psychiatry, Dental, X-Ray, Laboratory, ECG, Immunization, EENT, Personally Conducted in any private or govet hospital and results should be validated by clearance. Benefits, military and civil auxiliaries are authorized or entitled to receive the following allowances and benefits, but not limited. Basic subsistence allowance clothing allowance hospitalization, medical care for injuries and sickness incurred in line of duty as authorized by existing AFP circular. Burial services The PAF shall provide burial expenses to military and civil auxiliaries in the following instances. Death while on active duty death due to injury incurred in line of duty death after confinement due to wounds injuries incurred in line of duty. The Philippine flag shall be presented to the designated heirs of the concerned military or civil auxiliary personnel. Insurance coverage through AFP Mutual Benefits Association Incorporated, AFP MBAI. From the book of Romans chapter 5 verse 3 and not only so, but we glory in tribulation also knowing that tribulation worth patience and patience, experience and experience hope. Thank you so much and God bless. See you again next time only here in our channel.